Hi, everybody. Um, today, <laughs> I wanted to show you the crazy thing that's happening on the lathe. And um, the point of all of this is that this is a little plain body that um, Stanley Tool started making in 1876. And it's for scraping the labels off of uh, wooden crates, shipping crates. Before there was cardboard, there were crates. Anyway, so this has a big handle on it. I'll show you that, the whole story about this later. But right now, I'm showing you this tool that we're using to make a tool. Now, using the Stuart McDonald radius gauge, we're going to look at this tool the way I've shaped it. And it's pretty much the same curve all over the place. So this is, in, in effect, a, a section of a sphere, a spherical surface. And I thought, since we're going to make a few of these, wouldn't it be nice to have a sanding disc that was the correct shape so that we could sand the blades and the plain bottoms at the same time and everything would come out nice. So the setup that, that we came up with was um, a pivot here, firmly held in the chuck. And then this distance is 14 inches from the pivot to the cutter. And you can see we've brazed on a, a triangular chunk of carbide on the end of this stainless rod here. And the other thing is, that right here, there's a little hole, a uh, um, stepped hole in the rod and a set screw with a shaft on the end of it is coming in there. So there's a pivot here and a pivot here. And so the idea is that when the cross feed travels, this arrangement will automatically make the long feed travel, and we'll be able to see that on the readout as that works. So as the cutter moves in on this 14-inch arc, um, it's going to um, it, it, it's going to move to the left as the cutter advances away from me, and it's going to make a <laughs> this beautiful surface. So right now the surface isn't quite not quite big enough. So we're gonna we're gonna keep cutting and, and move this out, and then this spherical surface will put a piece of sandpaper on there, and we'll be able to do a really precise job on the bottom of these planes pretty quickly. So that's our tool making story for today, and uh, I can show you how this works. I think. So you can see as I've withdrawn the tool, it's made this nice little mark on the surface, which tells us that everything is working repeatedly. And uh, we're going to zero this. And let's see, what will we do for a cut? Um, maybe, um, let's see, we'll loosen that. Maybe we're going to go in, say, 40 thousandths. OK. Whoops. <laughs> OK, there's our 40. And power up. So you can see as the cross feed is moving in on the y-axis, the uh, x-axis is being driven to the left by the tool, by this tool that we've, we've arranged here. So here it's starting to cut. And um, you can see it's doing a nice job leaving a nice surface.
And it's gonna make one heck of a crazy disc sander, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Just like New York. Just like New York. This is like hands-free answering, right? surface. Beautiful cut. Triumph! <laughs>